Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your September 2017 monthly general reading. Generally, I do love readings, but we will see what comes up for the month of September. Uh, I'm intending for this to be a general reading. start that over. God damn it. It's a fucking mess. Well, I can't even get them back together. I don't know if I should keep going or what. I think I'm gonna I'll let you guys see all that because I think it was for you. I haven't had that happen in a long time, so there's got to be a reason. And this one is upright, so we're going to go with that too. Because I go with my gut. Hmm. Interesting. That's a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's you working, 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 working. Oh, that's Karma card. This is uh, reminiscing about something from the past. Oh, perhaps you have choices. Perhaps you have choices, in, or somebody does. All right, we're going to get a bunch more cards, but this damn table. I'm telling you what, that hasn't happened either with the tablecloth. So, something's going on with you guys. The tablecloth's all scrunching up. Hmm. So this is for Pisces. Two of Wands, the Hanged Man, Eight of Cups, and Ten of Wands. Oh, you need to focus. You're focusing your energy. You know, you're not. I think you're focusing your energy on your work. All right. Yeah, I don't think you're focusing your energy on love right now there's something that is too heavy you're carrying something that's very very heavy and you're just hanging on to it for some reason you can't let it go Well, maybe not. I think it looks pretty good. I don't think I can go any further. Um, that's pretty good. All right. So, here we have you focusing your energy. Are you focusing your energy on this person, or are you focusing your energy on this work? You need to blend the two. That's what this card says that you need to be able to blend the two, okay? It's gotta be like 50-50. So that's something that, you know, right now you're stuck in a predicament for some reason because we have the hey man right here. Um, it looks like you're struggling. You need to look at something from a new perspective when the hey man is here. You're struggling, you don't know how to handle something. This is an awakening, a breakthrough, finally. And you're able, hopefully, to blend these two things better. Okay? This right here, the world cards, the last card in the deck. When this card comes up, you have mastered something. Alright, you've mastered something and the, and it's and you've completed something big in your life. And now it's time to start on to a new chapter, a new lesson. Alright? So that's in the middle of September in the middle of the reading is this this wonderful world card so it looks like something is happening yeah I think you're gonna let go of something it's gonna be a breakthrough something that you are going to let go of because this is the hangman this is letting go all right it's surrendering
And this is leaving something behind. Leaving something behind that you are, were emotionally connected to. Maybe something from your past that's been holding you back. Because you've been carrying on your shoulders. Okay? Could have something to do with your friends. Could have something to do with your family. Um, could have something to do with a third party situation. Okay? Like something from the past. Could be family. Could be friends. But anyway, it's very heavy. It's heavy for you to carry. And it's... I think as soon as you let it go... Maybe you can really unite with somebody, okay? Because this is a union. You're going to have an awakening. It could be a breakup. I mean, it could be a breakup or, or leaving somebody behind so that you can be with somebody else. I mean, it could be that. I see this new beginning, though. With this world card, you have a wonderful new beginning, and it could be with somebody that you are deeply attracted to or connected to soulfully this right here this is the emperor this is somebody who is in control it's a boss it's a leader somebody who's very organized dominant also the sign of aries maybe that's you taking control And deciding to do it very quickly. It looks like it's pretty quick. Maybe all of a sudden you have a different change of heart or something. Or a different change of mind. And you decide that things are going to change. And maybe you're going to... Because here, you're focusing on work. This is focusing on work. And I think that's what you need to let go maybe of giving so much time to your work. So that you can give more time to a person. I think you see more. There's more on the horizon. I think you see more. All of a sudden you start to see out. You see your future a little bit differently. There's definitely growth. I see that you've grown. You have. You've grown. Something is changing within you. That is going to change your direction in life. This is the month of September. Maybe, let's get there, let's get some more cards. There is some kind of awakening, awakening that causes somebody to leave a situation. And it, it can be leaving a situation emotionally as well. Leaving a situation that affects your partnership, okay? So, you know, it could be leaving a, par a partnership or leaving somebody else for a partnership. But I see that after you leave something, a whole new phase in your life starts. And you regain control. And it's there be challenges, but you you have been you've been preparing yourself for it this whole time. There's something that is very heavy that you need to leave. It, it might have something to do with the partnership. Might be have something to do with between two people. Maybe you have to leave one person behind. Could be a child. Maybe there's arguments. I don't know. It could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a lover. Maybe you have to choose between two people for this to, to work out. I don't know. This is starting something new, okay? This is being completely aware. 
okay starting something new you have this card twice now something from the past you have to leave something behind from the past this is leaving something behind from the past from the past and it's something that is is was false in the beginning there was a false foundation there the whole time. Whatever it was, it was completely false. It wasn't true. So the universe is here to help you let that go. I think that's what it is because this is life experience. All right, and this is starting something new, having faith. Okay, having faith in flying. Without knowing if you're even going to fly, but you know that you're going to fly. But you can't be sure. But you know who you are. So this life experience is, is going to help you to fly, take a risk in some, of letting go of something that you don't need anymore. This is being completely aware. Okay, contemplating. I think you know what this is. I think you've been thinking about it and you know what you need to do. Okay, because all you want is this comfortable. This is this is a comfortable, abundant home. <laughs> Interesting. We're going to get one of these vintage wisdom oracle cards and we're going to get one of my whispers of love and that's going to be it. I am going to be doing love readings for uh, the first half of September and the second half of September. It's not just one. We're going to go with this one. Healing. Beautiful. Now this may or may not resonate with everybody because, you know, I can't read everybody. Some may resonate and some may not. Like one part might and the other part, part might not. I knew it. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Don't push down your feelings. Are you kidding me? Can you even do that? It, you ever heard such a thing? Don't push down your feelings, Pisces. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. I know you guys like to hide your feelings inside and keep them secret. I know that. Healing. Depicted here is a vintage medicine woman who is a conduit for all spiritual healing. She wears a link of pearls symbolic of transformation, purity, and humility. To a pro oh, these people and their big words. Hmm. Two bottles on her right and left are labeled with a daffodil and an egg. They represent the awakening of new life and renewed hope for the future. Light pours through the windows, illuminating the green walls. Green, the nurse of the color spectrum, is the color of balance, rejuvenation, and compassion. This present, the presence of this card invites you to take time and reflect on the energy of healing by allowing its light to shine on any areas in need of renewed wholeness. Attune to the rhythm of your own cycles by heeding signs and observing influence or habits in the need of re-evaluation. Re there are many ways in which you can, proact you can be proactive about your quality of life and the choices you make make <laughs> preventative measures taken now be they physical emotional or mental can prevent more challenging problems in the future for those who feel without hope countless lives have been healed by the sincere animation of prayer and meditation as the image suggests the renewing influence of nature can also profoundly reactivate your inner healing mechanisms and lead you back to a wholesome connection to Mother Earth. 
Any time spent deepening your relationship with the many faucets of nature's calming aura will be well invested. As the saying goes, heaven help those who have Heaven help those who help themselves. Hold on, you gotta turn the page at that one. But when you feel you can do more, remain open to the miracle of restorative healing in many forms. Heaven help those who help themselves. That's nice. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Feelings and emotions are part of who you are. Allow yourself to feel what is going on for you. Your feelings signal you to the truth of the situation. Take positive steps to determine why you are feeling the way that you feel. So that is your reading for September 2017. I will be doing love readings for the first half and the second half of September. Thank you to all my supporters, shares, likes, subscribes. And um, if I, it doesn't resonate, then, you know, that's the way it is.